Hey party people, we're out here in this RV repair shop and we're going to be replacing these cables right here on that toy hauler and we're going to be utilizing the same pro tips and principles as we would use on changing cables to an actual garage door. Let's party. Hey, we're meeting for the first time. My name is Santiago from SOS Garage Door Service. And on this channel, we provide you pro tips and tech reviews for residential garage door needs. But from time to time, this particular RV repair shop uh, utilizes me and asks me to repair these toy haulers. And so um, because the principles are very similar to a garage door, in fact, they have a torsion system that is utilized to open and close the ramps. Um, well, you know, I said yes, and uh, I've been doing work for them for quite some time. But what I want to stress here is that this is not your typical garage door repair. Thus, if you don't have a lot of experience doing this, please, the pro tips, techniques, and ideas in this video should not be considered law or infallible. Why? Well, because I'm nobody. But at the same time, it's important for you to understand your toy hauler needs and your toy hauler circumstances just as you would your garage door. Because if you don't have any desire to know those things, any desire to work on your toy hauler, then reach out to a professional because that's what we're there for. Okay, so first things first, we gotta get into that actual space and there's some items here in this toy hauler that is gonna be a little difficult to do that, but uh, I'm gonna have to roll with the punches because I actually have to take the good cable off or the other cable off in order to displace the whole weight of the ramp and then at the same time remove these parts so that way I'm able to put the new cables on. In fact, we're gonna have to make those cables. It's gonna be a party. Clearly, doing this is not easy. Replacing cables, replacing springs, torsion springs on a toy hauler has a number of challenges. And like you see right here, this piece, this type of like uh, exhibit, these types of fixtures, they're in there. They can't be taken out. So having to maneuver what was that cover right there, this cover right here on the floor, that was covering up the torsion springs, having to maneuver that off was not easy. Having to get into that corner right there to get the cable off, that's not gonna be easy. And because these torsion springs are reverse torsion, again, it's not gonna be easy. So take into account all these factors before you tackle a job like this. We haven't even gotten into replacing the cables. And before we do that, we gotta make them. Okay, so we've taken off the tension to both torsion springs here. Now, there's one pro tip that we didn't carry on to this type of situation, and that was basically releasing the cables, or I should say releasing the tension to the torsion springs and just sustaining them with your torsion bars. Now, the reason why I didn't wanna do that is because number one, we're dealing with a toy hauler. We're dealing with a very different type of configuration, different circumstances. So I almost want to start from scratch. Starting from scratch will allow me to be able to get a good lay of the land on how the tension to the springs are working with the cables. Because in essence, we don't want that ramp to be too heavy. We don't want it to be too strong. We just want it to be just right. Yeah, 
good one. There you go. Mm-hmm. All right. You probably have to straighten her up at least a little tad. I don't want to get your finger in there. Ready? My finger's not. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're clear. I don't think it's going anywhere. I don't think it's going anywhere either. Right? Yep. This is fun. By the way, party people, this is Rich. Rich, what's his last name? Williams. Rich Williams. He's the man. He's helping us out in this project, getting us taken care of. Go we'll clamp this down. Uh huh. There we go. <laughs> let's do this real quick, Rich. Let's take that vice grip and let's let's pinch it on that one right there. Right here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. I see where you're you're hitting. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can use the needles. Beautiful. This way. Perfect. And then we're gonna take these. Yes, man. We can do it. We can. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. You're the man, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you know what? I will need another Cotter Clevis pin. I might have one. I just don't know Cotter that. Pin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got this one. We'll go get some new ones. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, so we just finished making these cables. I think we're going to be okay with them. Uh, it's now just a matter of actually getting the cables tensioned onto the torsion springs. Hopefully it doesn't uh, go bad. No, seriously, I don't think anything bad's gonna happen. But keeping the principles again of garage door safety and being able to utilize cables in the proper way, you just wanna make sure that they're the right length. You wanna make sure that there's no fraying to them. These are obviously brand new cables. So we're gonna start working on that. I gotta get a Cotter and Clevis pen. The configuration to this toy hauler trailer with the ramp, you actually have to wind the springs while the door is down. So you've got to maintain tension to the cables while the ramp is on the ground and adding tension and because it's reverse torsion, instead of going up, you're actually going back or you're going down, I should say. So a lot of the same theory and principles, it's just a different way to do it. Okay, so we've got our cables on. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be winding our torsion springs and I'm gonna use my small little bars. I actually made these uh, for this job. So uh, let's get at it. So the repair was a success. We were able to get the cables on to the torsion system, got the whole thing covered. The ramp is a little tight closing. And so what I usually like to do for torsion springs is give it a little bit more turns because these are 12 foot cables. You do have to give about 48 quarter turns in order to keep the tension to them. Regardless, it's working fine now. Nevertheless, we learned something today and the principles that we were able to transfer from garage door systems now to toy hauler trailers, they work perfectly fine. Honestly, I've done these types of jobs. They're not my favorite, but tackling them gets me out of my comfort zone, which is a good thing because we always wanna keep learning. We always wanna keep mastering our craft so if you're interested in mastering your craft, YouTube is going to suggest this video right here, but I'm actually going to suggest this video out here that talks about the major and minor repairs that you can encounter with a garage door system. I wanna thank y'all for parting with me, and as always, y'all stay safe.